Hello YouTube, this is CyberTerror from the Cyber Channel HD, bringing you part 17 and the final part of my Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Let's Play series. Please comment, like and subscribe and I'll remind you at the end. Okay, um, in the last part we completed the Spirit Temple and in this part we are going to be going through and completing the last part of the game which is Ganon's Castle. Go for the opening cutscene quick. I've been waiting for you, Terra. Terra, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with the Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have one... I have things I want to tell to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikers. If you would seek the Sacred Triangle, listen well. The resting place of the Sacred Triangle, the Sacred Realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of who enters it, if an evil heart, the realm would be full of evil. If pure, the realm would become a paradise. The Triforce, the Sacred Triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the Sacred Triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. Ooh, scaly. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts, power, wisdom and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing the force that that one most believes in. If that one seeks the two true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hands. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Terra. And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the seventh sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. Wait, is she? What the fuck? Hang about, this is fucked up. It can't be Sheik. Sheik's a cunt. It's Princess Zelda! What the fuck? It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. I 
I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. Flashback! I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. As long as you have the ocarina in your possession, I thought that Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm. But, something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hand. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the Evil King, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed off myself as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. And now, you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the Evil King will end. The Six Ages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus Ganondorf, the Evil King, will vanish from Hyrule. Terra, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king. The power given to those chosen by destiny. The sacred arrow of light. So we're getting the light arrows which will help us fuck up Ganondorf. got the light arrow, set it to sea and your arrows will be powered up. The light of justice will smite evil. That rumbling, it can't be. What the fuck? It looks like a purple 50 rupee. Just giant version. Is that worth 500? Possibly. 5,000? More than likely. 5 million? I fucking hope so. <laughs> Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. Zelda screen pisses me off. It's fucked up. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I under misjudged, it was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Okay, so with this in mind, let's go. Let's check our arrow count actually. How many arrows? Seven. That's not good. Um. Now, oh, fuck it. We'll go anyway. We can put some arrows on the ray. Besides, we won't need that many arrows to defeat Ganondorf because I mean, the big Garan sword will just fuck him up anyway. So we go to the castle, which is up here.
Ganon's castle. So you want to run up to here and a cutscene will appear. Terra, can you hear me? It's Roru, the sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. This is basically what you needed to do all six temples for. Sorry, five temples. Technically, five, because Temple of Time isn't really a temple, it's not done. Well, it's temple. It's complicated, right? Technically, there's six temples, but only five dungeons. I think that's how it works. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so we want to run into Ganon's castle. Just fuck the Mimo. This is what I meant by you can't enter it without doing all six of these. You can't enter the mouth. Because it just does that. Anyway, um, the first one we want to go to and find is the Shadow Barrier. Because the Shadow Barrier gives us the Golden Gauntlet, which is what we need to move the big black thing to get into the um, light room. Unfortunately, it's not. Well, sorry. Fortunately, it's not the only thing we need it for because um, we can also get the health upgrade with it so we want to enter this purple shadow barrier purple's my favorite color i love purple dark purple's amazing <laughs> so we want to enter the barrier and then there is a fuckload of shit in here we have to do so the first thing you want to do is get the light arrow fire arrows out sorry right i want to hit this right because i don't really want to run out of arrows Quickly, you want to put on the hover boots just to make sure you don't fall. Sorry about that. I was standing still for a second because there's a fucking fly on my arm. I hate flies. You can fuck off, you piece of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Start out and get some rupees even though we don't need them. Okay, keep some boots on for a reason, don't worry. I don't usually like to keep this. No! The arrows fell off the side! That's bullshit. Oh my god. What's the point of having pots right at the edge? Seriously. Double roll. Ooh, that was close. So, you want to come over here and roll to this thing. You want to bring out the hammer. And spot that. That opens the door. Now you want to go back over to here. Hopefully we won't fall off because I don't really want to have to start at the beginning of the room. Yay. Okay. So you, and then you want to line this up well enough so that you can go straight off the edge. Double roll. Land on the plunger and that brings up the chest. Which gives us the golden gauntlets. You found the golden gauntlet and you can feel even more power coursing through your arms. The boss with the blue tunic. With the other tunic looks fucking gay, but with this tunic it looks fucking amazing. Can't oh we can't fucking long shot across can we? No, it doesn't reach. It might do if we hit it at the bottom, maybe. Nah, it's not gonna reach. Damn it! Okay, so for this part what you wanna do is you wanna get out the lens of truth. I think. Yeah, because it, re it reveals the icy pathway. Easy. 
I don't even know what the light's for. Um, before we enter this room, you want to get the light arrows quick. Hit both of these, should get some arrows and some green magic. Yay, arrows. Hit that and Imp will appear. With a tiny message. The shadow barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. And it will warp us back to the bee, like sort of like the room of all the doors. There's one shadow barrier dispelled. Well, one of the barriers dispelled. Now we want to go back to the entrance and go out of the um, castle completely so we can go and get the health upgrade. Which does severely come in handily. It comes so well in hand. It, it just helps so well because if you fuck up on Ganondorf um, without the um, health upgrade, he can take a fuckload of health off. Uh, I think he takes off like five or six um, hearts, I think, with one um, light attack. And then with shadow attacks, it takes off even more. It takes off like eight, I think. It's fucking madness how much damage he can do. It's fucking insane. So, what you want to... Whoa, don't want to go off the bridge like I almost did. You want to come over here and come across to here. Keep going this way. What the fuck's up there? What the fuck's that? I've played this game since I was like three years old. And I've never noticed that before. What the fuck's that? It's like some skulls, I think. Cool. Never even noticed that before. Sweet. I never once noticed that. Strange. Right, you want to turn around because you can find a skull too near here. Okay, so you want to try and get past as many of these as you can without breaking them, if you can. And you have a store of them. Cool. Now, what you want to do is go over here and pick this thing up. Grab. This is what you need the golden gauntlets for, like I explained earlier. So, once you've got that, you can enter here. The funny thing is, it claims to be really heavy, even with the golden gauntlets, and he throws it like fucking, what, 50 miles away. What the fuck's all that about? Before you enter, you might as well quickly pick up the... Well, get the ocarina. Because you're going to need it, because it's a fairy's fountain. And you know what? I don't know what it is. But in every single Zelda game, there's always one temple I struggle with. I don't know why I've played every Zelda game through more than one time and well except Skyward Sword I've only been for that once but Skyward Sword just isn't a very good Zelda game to me it's just as the Zelda games have progressed through the years it's just they've completely dumbed down I mean I've never really had a high opinion of the first two but that was because um, I didn't play them as a child obviously because I wasn't at the right age um, I wasn't born until 1995 so um, they came out in like what the late 80s early 90s I mean, even though Link to the Past came out before I was born, but, like, at that, the point when I was started playing games, um, the Nintendo um, SNES, or the Super Famicom, whatever you want to call it, um, that was really cheap at that point. So, of course, I got that as a child because it was very cheap. So, um, but the NES at that point just wasn't easy to find, so I didn't play them until I was, like, 13 years old. And they were okay games, but, I mean, like, I've always been brought up on a Link to the Past and... Um, Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask. But anyway, as I was saying, um, as the Zelda games have progressed, they've just gotten worse, and it's like, I mean, you've got, for example, right, I mean, I do class A Link to the Past as the first original Zelda game, because it is. The first two didn't really have a grueling story to it, like A Link to the Past did, and, um, yeah, so, I started playing that one, and then I got to this one, the story was amazing. Majora's Mask, the story was epic. I don't see why people have a problem with Majora's Mask, yeah, the story isn't long, but the side quests to make up for that, there's a shit ton of side quests in the game. 
There's like 30, 40 side quests for the masks and all this other shit. Um, not just that, but um, the gameplay, the graphics, they're a bit more better than this one because the engine is upgraded, so obviously. But then you had Wind Waker. Now, the story in that was okay. Um, but it, I just thought it was a cheap, knocked off version of this game story, to be perfectly honest, because it basically is. Um, Twilight Princess, yeah, it was okay. Um, I think it tried to copy what Majora's Mask did, and it didn't do it. It tried to have the dark, depressing emotion that Majora's Mask had, and to be perfectly honest, it just, it was a dark game. It wasn't dark by emotion, it was dark just by dark. Um, I don't know what it is. Skyward Sword, it's just, the story was so, I don't know, it just didn't do it for me. Like, most, loads of people loved it. I personally didn't. Some people rate it as the best Zelda game ever. I would definitely never rate it as that. Um, but, like, I don't know. Um, to be honest, I don't even know which one I class as my ultimate favourite. I probably would say over and over again that it would be Majora's Mask. Just for the fact that it's such a hard game. Fuck off. That it's such a... It's got, oh, fuck off! Stupid off my boots. I'm going to take them off. Um, the storyline is amazing. The final boss is epic. The, the soundtrack in the game is fucking brilliant. Um, the ability with the masks is amazing. The only thing I that didn't really appeal to me, I do like it, but the only thing that didn't appeal properly was the um, three-day system. I didn't mind it. It goes with the storyline. I mean, you only have three days, blah, blah, blah. But, the, I mean, in actual time, I think, like... Three days if you don't use the song of, of reverse time, it's like what, like two hours, I think. So, like, of course, if you don't know what you're doing with that, then two hours isn't really a long time to complete the game. Um, even if you're going for a temple, you get lost, say Stone Tower Temple, and that is a very confusing temple. Um, if you get lost and don't know what to do, then you're pretty much gonna fuck up and end up having to restart the whole thing again. Which that has happened to me before, and it pissed me off. Um, right then, keep on pulling these things. I mean, it's like, I'm really looking forward to um, the new Zelda game coming out on 3DS, um, A Link Between Worlds. It does look pretty damn good. I mean, the ability to go into walls looks pretty fucking fun. Um, I wish they would make a remake of Majora's Mask first, but they probably ain't going to do that anytime soon. I probably doubt they ever will, just for the fact that the fan base for Majora's Mask isn't as big as the fan base for Ocarina of Time, which was in high demand when they offered to do a remake. Which is kind of disappointing, because I mean, if they did do a remake of Majora's Mask, oh my god, it would be so fucking epic. It would just be so damn good, because... Like, even if they added a Master Quest, that would just make it fucking complete. It, it's not like the original game is missing anything, but it could be redone in the new textures to make it look even better. Include it with 3D, which would be just amazing for people who love that game. I'm speaking for every Majora's Mask fan out there who wants um, Majora's Mask on the 3DS for the remake. Um, that If they added a fucking Master Quest into the game... That would that was ten times harder than the original. I guarantee no one would ever complete it. Because it would be that fucking hard. A remake of Stone Tower Temple would be fucking brilliant in the Master Quest. Um, but the, like I said, the most the main problem people had with that game was the free day system. They didn't get along with it because they didn't like it. They just I don't know, they couldn't it was either the, it was too hard for them or they just couldn't get to grips with it. Because I mean when you hit that day three, for example, you're more than likely going to be sat there shitting yourself. Because, like, you don't want to really run out of time and have to restart everything again. It would just be fucking irritating. And I've forgotten which sun it is. Not that one. It's not that one either.
Oh, god damn it. Come on then, you cunt. Don't even need the damn rupees. There we go. So I hit every sun that isn't the right one. That was fucking brilliant. So you want to hit these to get Deku Nut. What the fuck? And green. Shit. So you want to get out the light arrows again. Pierce the giant thing that looks like a Deku Nut. And then Nibiru will pop out. Spirit barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, kid. I don't understand why the sages are there. It's kind of weird. Um, see, I don't know how many of the Zelda fans actually do this, but I rate the Zelda games on certain aspects. Some are better than others on some of them. For example, like the storyline. The best Zelda game for storyline, I think, is Majora's Mask. Um, gameplay wise I'd say A Link to the Past is probably the best one because the gameplay it's just pretty easy to get to grips with even from the beginning of the game I mean it did take me quite a while to get to grips with the mechanics in this game the mechanics in Majora's Mask Wind Waker Twilight Princess um, graphically Twilight Princess is probably one of the best games for graphics soundtrack wise is a tie between A Link to the Past and and this in Majora's Mask. I can't rate because there's a lot of tunes in this game and in um, Majora's Mask and A Link to the Past that I just fucking love. For example, my favourite track in A Link to the Past is the um, forest theme. <laughs> You know that one that fucking repeats itself like it's only a short like it's like what a 12-15 second tune but it repeats over and over again and I would sit in the Lost Woods for fucking hours just listening to that one tune because it fucking was amazing. I could just sit there and listen to it all fucking day it was so good. And um... Oh yeah, by the way, um, these are the chests in the room. I wouldn't recommend opening any of them because a lot of them are traps. So don't bother. My favourite song in this game is the Requiem of Spirit Ocarina Medley. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just like a really fucking amazing tune. Um, my favourite song in Majora's Mask is the Stone Tower Temple theme. The Stone Tower Temple theme song is just fucking adorable. The um, normal and the reverse version is just fucking amazing. Amazingly composed by Koji Kondo. Yes! Full arrows! That's fucking awesome. So you want to come up here and collect this rupee. Now you want to jump to each of the caves on the outside and collect the rupees, but there's some on the inside walls as well, which you'll see now. No, go that way. No! Oh, you cunt head. There's all of them open, but you still have a timer. Fuck off. Oh my god, are you having a joke? No, wrong door. Oh, run away, run away. Ah, run away. Ah. Fuck off. You dickhead. Run through the wall. Now you actually want to go through here and hit this one as quickly as you can because otherwise you'll have a swarm of dead hands after you. Or, oh, sorry, wait, war masters even. So just pierce the twatting thing. And get on with the next part. Raru appears. The light barrier is dispelled. Hurry.
just for the record, this part is going to be about an hour and a half long because um, I'm not stopping for any. I'm not splitting into different parts to the first part and then the second part and then the final boss. Because, well, to be perfectly honest, I can't be asked with the hassle and I might as well do it all in one fucking part. So, if you don't like it, then fuck off because I'll label in the, in the description which part is which. Or at least an estimation. Right, before you enter this room, you want to quickly change to the fire tunic. Now be careful, because this flooring, it fucking sinks. All the flooring in this fucking, well, almost all of it in this part sinks. So you want to hurry the fuck up. That was gay. I thought if you gripped on the edge, it wouldn't make a difference. By the way, if you hit the lava, you have to get the root, silver rupees all over again. So I wouldn't do that if I were you. Right, wait a second for that to go up a bit more. Bang. You want to come back on here and run across as, across as quickly as you fucking can. Get up there, fucking quick. Da -da -da. Set the silver rupee. Don't hit the fire because it will knock you off. Right, keep going. Okay, this is also what you need to go on a gauntlet for. So, you want to grab this thing. You want to grab this pith thing and throw it. Okay, so you want to jump back down. Go across. Defeat that fucking thing before it knocks you into the fucking lava because it has a nasty habit of doing that. I've made that mistake one too many times before, believe me. Um, and then I had to start the fucking thing all over again, which pissed me off. A lot of stuff pisses me off. But yeah, still, I don't care. Go back on here. Go back on here. Now, I don't think you can hit that from all the way over can you? No, you can't. Basically, this part can be very tricky because um, you basically have to go all the way back to the centre part and hit the long shot part before the whole platform falls into the lava. Got it. Sweet. If you don't have a steady hand, you're going to fuck it up, so be careful. Go in here. Hit the pot. Heart. And magic. Oh, fuck. There we go. It's not like um, I need arrows anyway, since I've got a full inventory. The Rooney appears. The fire barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, brother. What actually makes me laugh is a few of my friends on, my, uh, on the PSN have asked me, um, like... What's the favourite aspects of your favourite Zelda games? Um, like, say from A Link to the Past, the favorite, my favourite aspect of that game is probably the... Um, actually, I don't know. Um, a Link to the Past has so many good things. Put the water tunic back on, by the way. Um, it's hard to say because... Um, a Link to the Past's best virtue is probably the flute. Because the flute is so much fun. Obviously, you know what you're going to need here. You're going to need an empty bottle, which I do have. Um, see, A Link to the Past is a very tricky game because there's a lot of love and a lot of hate with it. Like most of the Zelda games. This one, basically, everyone loves it. But um, same thing with Jura's Mask. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. You're either one of the people who loves it or you're one of the people who fucking hates the game. I personally love almost every single Zelda game. There is only two I don't... There's only two I hate with a vengeance. That would be Skyward Sword and um, Zelda 2. I can't stand Zelda 2. It was more Final Fantasy than Zelda and it pissed me off. Um, but the reason I hate Skyward Sword so much is the fact that it's just fucking so shit. 
It's just nothing like any of the Zelda games. It's just stupid. Um, the fucking flying on the loft wings just didn't appeal to me. It was fucking retarded. Motion Plus sucked. Um, the whole Motion Plus thing was shit. Um, everything about that. Zelda 2 was just a piss take, so. But, um, oh yeah, fucking puzzle time. Um, but when it comes to, see, A Link to the Past, I don't know. Because A Link to the Past had so many good points with it. It was just one of these games that you would get addicted to. And you could play for fucking fuck knows how long an end. And it just really was good. Um, considering it came out in 1991, it was fucking amazing. But then you've got like, um, I was going to say, yeah, the game came after that, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening is an amazing game. The DX version, which got released later on, which is just like a color upgrade. Fucking amazing. Awesome game. Fucking just a re-release, but still, it was still fucking brilliant. Um, obviously, then, what, like... Five years later on, this game got released. It's got some of the best ratings ever received. But then again, Majora's Mask got one thing this game didn't, and that was um, voting for Game of the Decade, which this game didn't get, because so many other games came out in the same decade that people looked. By the way, with the bottle that we just made empty, um, you can just catch a fairy. Fuck! Fairy has been in the wall! And it gonna repair. Yay! We got a fairy in a bottle. Now if we die we have an extra fairy. Woohoo. Anyway. Um But the Zelda series, to most people, is probably their favourite game franchise. It's my favourite game franchise. Love Zelda games. Well, love most of them, anyway. And yes, I'm one of the very few people who's actually gone through um, the four swords on the Game Boy Advance. I've completed the game with a couple of my old friends. Amazing game. I mean, like, I don't know what it is, but people also have beef with the um, DS games, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Um, when it comes to those games, it's love hate because, like, I don't. I love the story mode. I loved um, the boat riding, like from Wind Waker. I loved the train riding in Spirit Tracks. But the controls were just so fucked up. Um, there were so many glitches in game. The textures were just fucked. It was just a really broke. They were broken games, and th Nintendo really didn't take the time to work on them. Because, I mean, if they did, it, they wouldn't be as broken as they were when they got released. Anyway, now we're in the forest one. The wolf is gonna appear, and we can just fuck it up with one shot. Stab it. <laughs> Dead. I actually don't know what gets what you get in the chest. I can't remember. Um, might be rupees, I think. Yeah, five rupees. Nothing that we really need. Right, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the fire arrows and then fire. Use the fire first. Then use the fire arrows on the torch of it, which will then open the door. Fuck off, fly. Piss off. Oh, yes, the room I hate most in this fucking castle. I can't stand this room because it requires you to use the fucking other boots. No, oh. Put them on. There we go. Oh, can't I just climb on the fucking thing? Apparently not. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get bombs out. You want to get light arrows ready for when you need them. And you want the... Oh, shit, no, wait. We want the lens of truth in a minute. For a bomb. There we go. Now we want the lens of truth. Because... Oh, wait. No, we don't need the lens of truth. I thought we did. And we do, when we hit the plunger, that would be nice. 
Duh. Yay. Marcus Woman needed the lens in here. We probably do. I remember using the lens in here before. I'll find out what I need it for in a minute. When I can remember. Like uh, like I said at the beginning of the um, Let's Play series, I haven't played this game in a while because I've been like on PS3 and I've been fucking busting a nut on that. Fucking just raping shit on that, so. Yeah, time. The last other game I went through was Majora's Mask and that was about a month and a half ago, so. No, 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 no. Ooh, you bastard. That was so close. Come in here. Hit the pots. A rupee. Magic. Now all the things have been dispelled. Finally. It's about fucking time. And the arrow is still on the screen. Lol. The forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, Terra. Now we can enter Ganon's Tower. Which there is a fuckload of creatures in there that take the piss. You come across Lizophos, Stalfos, um, and Iron Knuckles. Two of them at the same time. They suck. And technically I haven't died in the Let's, this Let's Play series. Well, I have. I died once on Bongo Bongo in the Shadow Temple. But as you all saw, um, it glitched when I said targeted. I shot and the fucking arrow missed apparently, even though I said target's supposed to be 100% accurate. It missed and I got raped because I was on low health, so yeah. Fuck you. You bitch. Fuck off, punk ass bitch. What kind of Liz Alphos were they? They fucking look like Grandpa Liz Alphos. Fucking grey hair. Well, the dirty old pervert Ganondorf needed dirty old pervert pimps or something. What the fuck? Go this room. Stalfos. Two of the fuckers. Come here and kill the other one. You have to kill them quickly as well, otherwise they will come back and then you have to defeat them all over again and it's fucking piss take, so you might want to kill them quick. Dun, 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 dun. Boss key. I don't know why you would even need a boss key since it's not technically a dungeon, so. Iron Knuckles, two of the bitches. And just because I'm so dench, I'm going to take both of them on at the same time. Just because I'm that amazing. And because I can't be touched. Oh, fuck. Okay, I did not intend for that to happen. Oh, fuck. That's not good. I'm going to get raped. Like that. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Fuck you. Screw you, you prick. Okay, that was a scary sight. I got raped. I don't even know what happened. I fucking 
charged up my sword technique and apparently as soon as it twatted them the first time they are amazingly super awoke and just fucked me up <laughs> that was amazing oh shit okay boss time and this is the boss room where the fuck is he well the answer would be up there so for this door go up the most amazingly long staircase ever That goes on for fucking ages. I would hate to be Ganondorf's cleaner. Those stairs would be a fucking nightmare. You'd spend all day just fucking cleaning the one step. You'd feel like you're under pressure, like you're on a mission. It'd be like doing a fucking puzzle. Try force of courage has appeared. Sucks that you don't get any special abilities because of having it. Try force of wisdom. We get fully healed even though we didn't need health. That sucks. The Triforce parts are resonating. They are combining into one again. The two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day seven years ago. I didn't expect they would be hidden within you two. <laughs> and now finally, all the Triforce parts have gathered here. I want hair like his. It looks like a giant amount of pubes on his head. These toys are too much for you. I command you to return them to me. Kara, I can't help you. Because of the waves of darkness, I can't get close. I'm sorry, Kara. Yeah, you can still Z target anyway. I don't get it. I think. By the way, when you start, you want to piss to the back now. Because he does that. Charge up sword, because this makes it go quicker. Come then you couldn't. And of course I fail. Are you serious? Screw you, Ganondorf. Suck a dick. Yay! Now you want to bombard him with light arrows. And I missed! No! Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Well, this is a mega epic fail. Let's try this again. Yay! And then I don't want to waste any more green magic. By the way, you can also use um, bottles to reflect that back as well. I would show you if I had. Oh, come on! If I had a spare bottle, I would. Oh. Do you know what? I'm just going to randomly use a bottle now just to show you because it's fucking taking my health away anyway. Fucking cunt. Watch this. Yay! Bottle time! Fucking hit him with that pifting bottle! Stop 
playing tennis already. Oh my god. Long. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hit him. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god. Are you serious? Wow. About time. God damn it. If you could swing a bit faster, it would be fucking nice. Try your sneak attack on me, you bastard. Fuck you. Fuck you. By the way though, if you didn't get the big orange sword like I did, um, the best way to kill him, like when he uses the giant shadow ball things, um, if you hold down and use your sword technique, as the as it turns into light balls and they hit you, um, you spin and it reflects, then all you do is use light arrows. But that's another way of doing it. Also, a little thing if you didn't know already, most people already do know this. Um, on the original copies of the game on the Nintendo 64, um, his, as he spews up there, it was, his blood, it was actually, re used to be red until people complained that it wasn't suitable for children, even though the game was rated, um, teenage, so technically it was allowed, but so many people complained that they changed it on later releases, which sucked. Same thing with the Fire Temple theme song, like I explained when I did the Fire Temple. The original song had chanting in it, but Muslims fucking, the terrorists fucking complained that they were disrespecting, disrespecting Bin Laden, so, I'm joking, disrespecting some kind of belief they were in, so, they thought it was racist, basically, and they just stripped it from the game, so. Ganondorf, pitiful man. Without a strong, righteous mind, he could not control the power of the sacred gods, and... Terror, listen to me. This tower will collapse soon. With his last breath, Ganondorf is trying to crush us in the ruins of the tower. We need to hurry and escape. Please follow me. The funny thing about the Zelda series, which I do find fascinating, is the fuck off, is the fact that um, the chronological order of the games is so fucked up. The timeline is just amazingly messed up unless you know how to read it properly. For example, after this game, um, the, the storyline splits into three separate um, timelines. It's just fucked up. If you have a look on Wikipedia, it shows like a picture of the timeline. Try and fucking understand it because it's so ridiculous. I don't see why they couldn't fucking just make a normal timeline. I understand the need to make a, a prequel after a sequel, whatever. Like with Skyward Sword, that's a prequel to all of the other Zelda games, but like, come on, Nintendo. The fucking chronological order of the games is just so fucked up. I mean, for fuck's sake, I'm sure you can do fucking better than that shit. Jesus Christ. Well, basically, the aim of this part is to follow Zelda down the tower. And the s whoa, 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 don't jump off! Ooh, that was close. And the slow bitch decides to take fucking forever to open one fucking thing. Although I do have to admit, in on the 3DS version, that looks pretty damn amazing. Oh yes, now we fight two Stalfos. And you do have to kill them fucking quickly. Like after you kill one, kill the other one dead quick. Otherwise, the other one respawns and you're wasting loads of fucking time, so. But with a big Goron Sword, it shouldn't be a problem. Even with a Master Sword, it's not a problem. Come on, you couldn't. Thank you, Terra. 
Hurry up. So I can drink my vodka. Hurry up, Terra. Any second now, the tower is going to collapse. Well, open the door then! You fucking div. The tower is going to collapse! Well, open the fucking door then! I was standing right fucking there. Douchebag. Open the door. Oh, come on. Yeah, open the door. Ah, zombie! Ah, oh, bollocks! Inverted view, not good. Fuck off, dickhead. What you're gonna do is quickly change the master because I want to test something. Basically, in the next fight, um, Ganondorf, Ganon, as he comes back, um, fucking decides, where is she? There she is. Um, he decides to knock the sword out your hand. Now, I want to check if he knocks the Master Sword, because normally, you know, people don't bother getting the Vigoran Sword, because they don't know how to get it. But, um, like, normally he'd knock the Master Sword out of your hands. So, I want to check if he knocks the Master Sword out of your hands, can you still use the Vigoran Sword? I've never tested it, so... The tower's just falling to fucking pieces. He spent ages turning it into a tower of evil and then he just destroys it because he's a fucking Marty bastard. Oh, I lost my tower, I lost the link, I'm a fucking noob. So I'm gonna try and kill them both and myself at the same time. Yeah, you're a fucking dickhead then, aren't you, you cunt? Very fucking slow tower breakdown. I want to know how that, how that is just all that's left of the fucking castle. A few pieces of rock. Because you see the fucking normal ground below it. I don't get it. There's just one thing I don't understand about Nintendo. They did a 3D remake of this game, but there was actually nothing wrong with this game. It, until it came out, it, this game aged pretty fucking well. Graphically, it aged pretty fucking amazingly. Fucking Majora's Mask, the engine's just a, a little bit better. The game, this game wasn't even broken. So let's see why they won't re-release Majora's Mask. Now all of a sudden he has even longer hair. How the hell does that work? And he has eyes like Satan. Brilliant. He has, he has eyes like Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Where he's like killing all the fucking droids and the separatists. Giant Turtle Man. Oh, fuck. Two giant golden dildos. With the handles are bigger than the blade. Zoe's going to hold me back again. This time we fight together. Can I use it? 
I can use it! Yes, then! This is going to be pretty fucking quick. Okay, so what you can do here is use the light arrows on his face to blind him. Go underneath him. Use the big orange sword and stab him. Keep on repeating. Run under his leg. Slash him up. Keep repeating. Bang. Go under his leg. Slash him up. Go under his leg. Slice him up like a pervert. How long does it take? Yay! There's the first part done. Terra, the master sword is here. Hurry up. I don't want the small piece of shit. I want to keep on using the big garden sword. It works better. Use the Master Sword. Destroy Ganon with the Sacred Sword. No! Why did we get the Master Sword again? I don't want that. I want the Big Goron Sword. Bitch! Destroy this. Give me some magic, please. Bombs! Come and destroy this. Give me some magic. Ah, oh, fuck's sake! Come and destroy this and give me some bastard magic. There we go. Ah, fuck off. Half a heart, not much. Yay! Keep going. Oh fuck, that was close. I would have to reckon he's getting pretty pissed off. Because he's proper catching up to me now. I'm gonna start magic again. God damn it, I, I can't use any more light arrows. No. So basically, if you run out of light, I just roll under this normally. Just front, just slap it. Oh, that failed. I missed him. I still got him. Lol. That was close. Oh no. Screw you. Just die already, fuck's sake. How many times do I have to twat him? 
Oh fuck. There's only so many times I have to kill him. Ooh, twat him on, come on. Are you serious? Fuck. It's hard when you can't see anything. Oh my god. I'm going to try using the Master Sword quick, because I'm going to see if it's some kind of glitch where you have to use the Master Sword to kill him. Oh yeah, look what happens. As soon as I fucking use the Master Sword, it just works. That's a bit depressing. I'm using my power to hold the Evil King. You use your sword and deliver the final blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stab. Right in the fucking forehead. He now goes crazy. Six ages now. I believe I'm beside too long. Ow. Oh, that hurts. Ah. <sighs> Ancient creators of Hyrule. Now open the sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. I love this part. You. Curse you, Zelda. Curse you, Sages. Curse you, Terra. Someday, when the seal is broken, That is when I'll exterminate your descendants. As long as the Triforce of Power is in my hand. Which unfortunately does remain in his hand. Which sucks ass, but oh well. That leaves that paves the way for Wind Waker and that series anyway. Thank you, Terra. Thanks to you, Ganondorf has been sealed inside this evil realm. Thus peace will once again reign in this world, for a time. All the tragedy that has befallen Hyrule was my doing. I was so young, I could not comprehend the consequences of trying to control the sacred realm. I dragged you into it too. Now it is time for me to make up for my mistakes. 
You must lay the Master Sword to rest and close the door of time. However, by doing this, the road between times will be closed. Terra, give the ocarina to me. As a sage, I can return you to your original time with it. I bet she's thinking, I couldn't suck his penis, so I'll have to suck his spit of the ocarina when he played songs into it. When peace returns to Hyrule, it will be time for us to say goodbye. This is probably one of the most saddest game endings ever. Now go home, Terra. Regain your lost time. Home, where you are supposed to be. The way you are supposed to be. I want to know why they're floating in the sky. It's fucked up. Thank you, Terra. Goodbye. Right, this has been CyberTerra from the Cyber Channel HD, bringing you part 17 in the final part of my Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Let's Play series. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.